What is up guys? Welcome back. So we were just hit with another patch note. Um, well this is an official patch note, this is just a developer's note. So this is kind of like a pre-patch note. Um, from It's from Korea and this is translated by Padochi. It's on, on the reddit right now. This is the page I'm looking at. This is the, the Monster Super League reddit. And you know he actually translated this for us so big shout out to him. Um, so I'm just gonna go through this. If you can't see the screen too well, don't worry. I'm just gonna go through every single point that I see here. So first up, some ascension skills, five star passes are getting straightened and becoming more usable. Um, so basically, recovering down and recovering up are going to be buffed. I think that's that's pretty good. Um, recovery down is kind of like a really weak debuff. Nobody really cares about it because all it really does is make make it so the souls actually don't spawn as much. Um, and you get a little bit less SP and that's that's basically all there is to it Recovery up is a skill like I think I think that's a skill that like the dark cura has um, I I have the dark cura and I already think the skills are relatively strong compared to a lot of the other skills like a lot of the other buffs that come with healing so in my opinion I think I think this is might be a little bit more OP. I don't know if, if they're going to tone this down in the future or if they're if this is going to be permanent. Anyways, I think recovery up is definitely going to be something that's like... I already think it's one of the best buffs with, in the game. Um, it's definitely go going to be the best buff in the game, probably after the, the change. Soul conversion is also getting changed. Um, basically, it's the you know the leader skill that uh, the Curas and I think a few other monsters have. Um, basically, it makes it so that when you kill something, the you know the, the red souls like that that heal your 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 allies HP. Um, that thing is getting increased, but it's it's not like the only difference is they're actually increasing the amount of souls, not increasing the healing of souls. The the only difference I can think of is, you know, if for some weird reason all the red souls go to one monster, there's probably less of that chance happening now because there's more soul overall. overall. So that's, I guess that's a kind of a quality of life thing. Um, the problem where when inflicted with attack down and defense down, increase in attack or defense due to leader skills or equipped gems are not affected by the skill effect. So it's ba this is basically a bug, like you know, attack down and, and defense down. Um, they don't actually work properly against against some units sometimes because of how the leader skills and gems um, affected their stats. So it might have like cut the base stats in half, but the the um, bonus stats that you get from the gem and leader skill aren't weren't cut in half. So I guess in the future, um, everything's going to get cut in half, making these debuffs a lot more useful. I don't think this was intended, so they're probably just fixing a bug. Gold is going to be more easily earned in Gold Dungeon. Um, number of floors decrease, and encounter Astromon level decrease to make it easier to clear. So they're, they're going to make it easy for everyone to clear. For those of you that don't know, the gold dungeon is really really good in terms of um, energy to gold efficiency so pretty much do it every single day if you can and this makes it so that new when newer players come into the game they can actually you know do the gold dungeons I think I'll definitely include this point in my next beginner's guide I think this is really really nice to know um, and in order to match the floors the reward of each floor has been decreased so basically there's less floors but better rewards for each floor and the floors are also easier to clear Nat 5 Astromon ability is strengthened. Um, I'm not sure what to think about this. I already think the Nat 5s are really OP already. Um, some Nat 5s are getting negative reception will be strengthened. So like, I don't know, like Word Persephone or something like that, that some Nat 5 that nobody wants. Um, balance type Nat 5 Astromons will have a slight increase in stats. So like monsters like the Water Arthur and stuff are going to get a little bit of increase in stats. Um, I think it's okay. I, I, I actually don't think balance type monsters are weak in any way because in most cases when you're going to dungeons you still want to have like a little bit of tankiness um, mixed in with attack sometimes like even if, if you're building like an attack monster. So all in all it's just easier for people that have balance type nat 5s. League errors will be fixed and monitoring... okay um, defense teams display errors will be fixed. So this is hacking program um, you know they're, they're just cracking down on the hackers they're fixing a few bugs 
this is the big change right here number five this is the biggest change that's going to be happening right now um difficulty of fusion is going to be adjusted so last week i made a video about talking about um how hard it actually is to make a fusion and to summarize if you wanted to make the light shiva an evo um an evo 3 using 12 gleams you will need to basically farm um, in the game for about a year or so, like over a year of playtime actually in the game in order to make the Light Shiva, um, you know, in order to get four copies of Light Shiva so you can get the Light Shiva Evo 3 using 12 Gleams. Well, actually that fit, that works perfectly because you, if you can get a Gleam a month, um, actually you get two a month, so you, I guess it's not that perfect. They should reduce it to six months, so in half a year you'll be able to get them to Evo 3. Um, so, but they're changing the evolution requirements for Astromon. So, so you don't need to um, you don't need to have max level, and a lot of the Evo 2 fusions are going to be um, decreased to Evo 1, and a lot of the Evo 3 fusions where you need like the monsters Evo 3 are going to be decreased to Evo 2. I think this is. This is all right. Fusion is still relatively hard, like even after the change, but it's going to be achievable now. It's, it's going to actually be achievable, and because nobody's going to be farming like scenario maps for um for for a year. Changes required to um light. Wait, robot dark to Cosmo light. Yeah, I guess this doesn't really matter. But basically, they're making um, all the fusions that require Evo 2s, they're going to make it Evo 1. And all the fusions that require Evo 3 are going to be changed to Evo 2. And you no longer need to max out those monsters when you um, when you do fusion. And some light dark monsters, Astromons, will be adjusted. I'm a little bit nervous about this because it might have to do with some nerfs. But from my experience, most of, the, most of these types of games, they don't like to nerf monsters. Instead, they like to buff monsters. Um, because, you know, whenever they nerf something, it, like, really pisses people off. Especially, like, just just think about this. If you have a, a really good Nat 5 monster um, that isn't, like, exactly OP, but they all, this, all of a sudden they just, like, cut his, like, you know, attack or something down by 200. You know, you'll... In, in the grand scheme of things, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter that much, but you would still get a little bit pissed off. So I guess they, like, you know, pe the developers of these types of games, not just um, 433, usually like to avoid doing that. So, you know, hopefully whatever light dark monster I have now doesn't get nerfed. And um, during the trial system, there would be no search play. Wait, what? There's a new system? There'll be a trial service tag attached. During the trial service, there'll be no restrictions in playbook. So they're gonna add like a beta server, maybe something like that. Um, if I if I understand this correctly. So that's pretty much it. Really good news for people that want to attend Fusion. Um, this is probably gonna happen after the Gatito event, so you probably still need to like raise your Gatitos to to um, Evil Two if you want to fuse them. But you know it's. It's it's good that they're doing this because it's it was ridiculous before, and now it isn't retarded. It's just it's normal now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you guys found this helpful, be sure to like. And if you want to watch more videos, I make more videos every single day. Uh, be sure to subscribe. That's everything. Peace out.